going on guys? I am Master Arcade and today we are talking about No Dead Silence in Advanced Warfare. Now for some of you who don't know, there's a perk in Call of Duty. It's called Dead Silence. It was called Ninja back in the original Black Ops 2, but um, they changed it and called it um, Dead Silence. And the new Call of Duty is basically what they made it for ghosts is you can't hear anything that anybody's doing, running, jumping, using things, nothing. Basically, what Sledgehammer decided to do, not Sledgehammer, I said Sledgehammer in my last take, and I'm, well, wait, yes, is it Sledgehammer? Yes, it is Sledgehammer. Wow, maybe I'm wrong. I'm wrong about myself. Um, so basically, what Sledgehammer um, did was they said, no dead silence at all, we're completely taking it away, um, so everybody's footsteps are going to be heard, and everything, every movement is going to be heard. Um, some of the bad things going to be about this is there's going to be a lot of sound whoring. A lot of people are going to be cranking their volumes up to holy crap settings and and making sure that they can hear every single word of every single someone calling out, every single footstep that happens to some people. Um, I mean, it's it's going to be insane. Um, and and I, 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 there's going to be a lot of left triggering. I can already see that happening. Um, it happened last time. Uh, when they made it for ghosts and they really buffed Dead Silence. There's a lot of left triggering now in ghosts, so imagine if there was no Dead Silence and you can hear everybody coming around corners. Yeah, it's going to be bad. So, I think for competitive, on a competitive standpoint, it could be good and bad. Um, the gun battles are going to be a lot closer and there's going to be a lot of more uh, sneakiness, so I think strategies are really going to have to be based around the fact that everybody can hear everyone so you're not going to be able to just sprint out and rush bombs anymore because if you rush bombs you're going to hear people you know trotting along towards a bomb and everyone's going to die so I, I think sounds are going to be a big big part of advanced warfare's competitive scene um, which, which is kind of unfortunate because it was pretty good with Dead Silence. Everyone was using it. It was taking up a perk spot, which made everyone kind of on an even level. But it also gives more room for other perks, um, and which includes there's a perk for a uh, suitability, which is kind of like all your suitabilities are silent. So if there are suitabilities in competitive, which we don't know yet, um, basically all your 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 lunging or your double jumping or your um, or even your like backstepping or like grenade using things are all going to be silent. No one's going to be able to hear them. Um, no one's going to be able to like track you down from there. So I'm I'm kind of thinking like they're, that's kind of they're going to be their dead silence. It's just going to be with exo abilities. I don't like that. I I like being able to run around and not have like I know they're trying to make exo abilities a big thing and they're going to try to make it like kind of Halo like, kind of Titanfall like, but not. It's all a mess. Um, but I mean, there are going to be some good things about this, and and that is the gunfights. I mean, and strategies like you're going to have to build your like search and destroy if they have search and destroy in Advanced Warfare for competitive. It's going to be a completely different game. Um, you're going to have to base every single strategy around sound. I mean, you're not, the, like rushing bombs, like I said before, is not going to be a thing um, because people are going to hear you, going to hear you from a mile away, and you're going to have more of four people in a line and then moving around corners together, crouching and and or using your exo abilities with that dead silence kind of thing of lunging around corners so people can't hear you and it, it's going to be pretty cool but at the same time it, it's going to be odd it, it really is um i don't know i don't know how i'm how i'm going to like it um this is only the first part of the video so it's going to be a little bit longer um but what i want you guys to do is leave a comment do you like the fact that there's not going to be any dead silence are you for it are you against it and what do you think about the fact that Dead Silence is basically an exo ability now, pretty much. Um, so it, it's kind of like limited. So let me know in the comments um, what you think about that. Secondly, for you guys who don't know, this past weekend, UMG Dallas happened. Now, um, UMG Dallas, you guys saw my predictions, and my predictions, as I found out later, were literally 
mirror images of the way the MLG casters predicted UMG Dallas, which was the exact opposite way of UMG Dallas actually happening. So we're going to go through the top four and go from there. So uh, fourth place was Optic Gaming. Now everyone had Optic Gaming in the top two, and uh, unfortunately, they didn't play to their full potential. Um, I mean, when you have Nade Shot using an AR and he's leading the slang on the team for the whole tournament, you got a problem. I think he was fourth on the slang list for UMG Dallas, which shouldn't be happening if you're an objective player. Um, I mean, Stumpy had his moments, but he, he was kind of letting down a little bit. Clayster was up there, but Proofy really, really had an off tournament. Um, Proof for the last couple tournaments, Gfinity and now, I don't know if maybe they're just starting to get out of the game and they're looking more forward to Advanced Warfare, but I mean, they should have at least had a top three. Um, Optic Nation beat them, which is the third place team, when they actually had a better tournament than Optic Nation. Um, but, I mean, in the end, it, it is what it is. I think if, if they're, cause, uh, spoilers, Nashville is the next tournament, and I think it, they have a lot to work on when coming to Nashville. Uh, it's a higher prize pool as well, um, but, I mean, I mean, I think Proofy and Scumpy really got to step it up, uh, slang-wise. I, Nate Shot should not be running an AR at any point in time. I mean, even if it's Octane Domination, yes, I mean, he can use an AR every once in a while, but he's supposed to be the guy running around, playing the objective. Um, I mean, he's supposed to be the guy on the bottom of the leaderboard for slang and the top of the leaderboard for objective. So, I think that that's got a lot to do with it. So, like I said, the third place team was Optic Nation. They played pretty well. Um, I don't think anybody really expected them to get top three. I don't think anybody had them in their top four. Uh, a lot of people had them uh, losing to, who was it? I think they had them losing to Envy originally, and they did lose to Envy. But, I don't know. It, it was just, the way that they played um, was pretty decent. I think they lost to Most Wanted. That was their first loss. Um, they played better in the losers bracket, and they kind of brought it. Killa uh, showed why he was as, why he's good at search and destroy. Um, but Embos and Ricky both would start almost every single domination close to double negative, and then have to work their way back up. So the matches that they did lose, I would say, is because of them too. I think they need to learn how to start games. I'm not really saying learn. I, I don't know why I sound like I'm better than them because I'm definitely not. But I mean, basically, what their what their problem is is they start off the games way way too slow, and and what that ends up happening is is you have miracles, who who's going almost double positive, and Killa, who who's who's around that middle of the road area, but they're doing pretty well for basically carrying the other two players and then when they played Envious, when they played um, any, any other team, they they really lacked and, and the teams that they played against that were decent showed it, they exploited it and that was the reason they lost what they did. They beat Optic Gaming, which I think should have been a lot of closer series than uh, I thought. I didn't think it would be a 3-0. Um, but then again, like I said before, uh, Proofy and Scumpy really didn't show up in the last part of that. So, um, moving forward, second place team was Team Envy. Definitely, I, I kind of called that. I thought they were going to be second place. I didn't think they were going to win another tournament. I think Gfinity, the only reason they won Gfinity was because nobody else was there. Everyone pretty much saw it as vacation. And I thought they were going to get second place to Optic Gaming. Instead... Neither team got top two. Um, they, Envy did pretty well. Um, I've, I've been pretty surprised the fact that Jcap and uh, Formal have been on the team. They've been doing pretty well. Merc has been uh, bringing up uh, usually how he's been playing, and then Nameless has just been godlike. Um, they they played Denial the first time, and we kind of saw like when we figured out that they were going to play Denial again in the in the grand final. We all kind of knew it was going to be over. Denial was on one of those runs that you just cannot stop. It's one of those dream runs um, that really, if, if you try to stop, you're just going to get run over. 
so um, unfortunately um, that happened. Um, before I go into the, the finals, some teams that I want to shout out, um, Team Caliber, I had them in like the top one or two. No, I had them in the top three, I think. I think I had them third. They just didn't show up. Uh, they won their first game, and then they played... Who did they play? I think they played FaZe. They either played FaZe or Most Wanted. I can't remember. I don't have the bracket up with me. Look at me preparing for a video. Um, but they went to the loser's bracket, had to play Optic Gaming. The series was kind of close, but Team Caliber has gone back to that middle-of-the-road team where they just can't get over that hump of getting into, into the top placings. Um, adding Theory back to the team, I think all they did was bring back the old problems that they had and the reason why they picked up Apathy when they did. Um, because they weren't doing too well when they had Theory the first time. I, don't, I honestly don't know why they thought they would have a good chance of picking him up again. Like, maybe they thought there would be, like, a new spark. I mean, I think they're just preparing for Advanced Warfare, and they think, like, a new game is going to bring new luck for them, which could be the could be the possibility. I could see that happening. Um, Curse, I had Curse doing decent. They did horrible. Phase, same thing. Uh, Most Wanted, shout-out to Most Wanted. They, they put up a really good fight. Um, I didn't see them as being a very decent team. Same with Noble Vanquish. Noble Vanquish did all right as well. Um, those were two teams I really didn't see doing too well. Um, just because they were kind of the, the so-so teams, but they came in with their teams, and, and they did pretty decent. Um, most wanted, I mean, they, they worked really well as a team. Um, and then, um, of course, then there's the Grand Champions, now known as the team that nobody wanted. I call them the Team of Misfits. Uh, Denial. Denial wrecked shop. Denial came in, and each one of them had something to prove. Zuma wanted to prove that he he was in a scene that he was not like his other teammates. Study wanted to beat Envy, and he did twice in a very, very, really pimp-slapping fashion. Um, and and then. Uh, Basically, I mean, it was it wasn't even close. Denial came in, and it was a team of people who um, basically they were like, okay, well, we're dropping you, 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 and you. You're gone. Sayonara. Have fun playing in the open bracket. And they said, all right, well, screw you guys, all right, and we're going to form our other team, and we're going to beat all of you. And that's basically what they did. They they took a team of misfits, threw them all together, called themselves Denial. Denial bought them out. And um, the rest was history. They took UMG Dallas by storm, and they came in and they won everything. So that that's just the way it goes. Um, will they win UMG Nashville? I don't see why not. Uh, if they play Dallas like they did Nashville and they get a decent bracket and don't get like a screw over bracket, they're they're definitely in the running to go back to back. Um, will they pull a like a EG and do that? I don't think there's enough time. I think the new game's going to come out and things are going to completely change. There's a possibility that they could come up and just wreck Advanced Warfare and be the next dynasty like EG was. Um, it's going to be iffy to see how the first tournament goes for that. But, um, I think that's it. Um, UMG Dallas post-show slash Dead Silence thoughts. Um, again, let me know what you guys think about the Dead Silence thing. Um, let me know how you guys think uh, UMG Nashville is going to go. Um, other than that, I got nothing else. So, um, if you like this video, leave a like in the bottom thing. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I will see you guys next time. Adios.